Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a different dragon eye. It's been a while since I've done a dragon eye with you guys. So I thought I would do, uh, give Toothless the dragon a little try. So I have um, just like an oval shaped rock. You can do this on any shaped rock. You just have to kind of work with the shape a little bit. Um, I painted it black and I've let it dry so that I can sketch on here kind of what my idea is going to be. You don't have to pay attention at this point, um, but basically I just kind of want to place where I want the nose to be, the nostril, the mouth, the eye, um, and some of the little scales that we're going to put on there. I'm actually going to cover up all of my pencil and you're not even going to see this anymore. This is just for my own sake to decide where I want everything to be on the rock. So Toothless is a dragon and he is from the movie How to Train Your Dragon. And he is my favorite dragon in the whole world. He's the cutest, he's the most handsome and the most playful. And he reminds me so much of my black cat, Max, who is currently getting into mischief right now while I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> so if you guys hear stuff banging around, that is my cat, Max. Um, so yeah, he really reminds me of Toothless the Dragon so much that uh, I call him Toothless sometimes. So does my husband. So does my sons. Um, so yeah, Toothless is definitely my favorite. And Max is one of my favorites too. Shh, don't tell Maple or Monroe that Max is my favorite. <laughs> I love them all, but Max, Max and I have a strange bond. So I am sketching it all on with pencil here. You'll be able to see it a little bit better as we go along. There's no easy way for me to explain uh, how to create Toothless the Dragon. I just hope that my steps are easy enough for you to follow and that you get to create him too. Or uh, for your grandkids or your kids who really love Toothless the Dragon, who doesn't? Go look at pictures of this awesome dude and let me know what you think of him. <laughs> so now that I have my eye where I want it, I'm going to paint it white so that we can have a nice bright background to start with for his bright green eyes. So we'll see how it looks when we're all done. I was thinking about doing um, a female dragon as well. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do his girlfriend. Um, I forget what her name is, but she's absolutely gorgeous as well. Um, maybe we can try and do her, or if you just want like a pink or purple dragon, uh, let me know. I'd like to do another dragon eye that's uh, uh, easy to follow along, so you guys uh, let me know in the comments what you want. And let me know as well what you think of this one. Does he look like Toothless? I did verify. I woke up my six, my 15 year old and I'm like, okay, what is this? He goes, it's Toothless. I'm like, yes, yes. But first I have to verify with the six year old. So I walked into the six year old's bedroom this morning and I'm like, Jackson, who's this? And I pulled up the rock and he goes, it's Toothless. I'm like, yes, I did it. <laughs> So that's the only reason why you guys are getting this tutorial today is because both my kids verified it looked like Toothless and it gave me the confidence to finish the tutorial for you guys. <laughs> so you have those boys to thank because I almost didn't post it. I just, I love dragons. I love dragon eyes. You guys know uh, if you've seen my stuff on Pinterest or Facebook or even on my channel, the dragon eyes are very popular. Everybody likes to make dragon eyes. Um, so yeah, why not Toothless the dragon as well? He's adorable. He puts a smile on my face. <laughs> just like my cat, except for except for when he's getting into mischief. <laughs> so you can see all these little strange little scale marks that are on his nose. To me, when I look at Toothless, you might want to check pictures of him out on Google or or even watch the movie How to Train Your Dragon. 
And you can see that he's like very smooth and soft looking. Even his scales, they aren't like really uh, sharp or, or aggressive looking. Um, he's just adorable. So, and he is black, but when you look at him, he's got like a gleam to his skin that almost shines in a blue. So that's why I'm adding some blue uh, to the black. Now I'm not going right up to the eyeball. I'm keeping some black around the eyeball and I'm using sponges in order to get like an airbrushed look, okay? Um, I will be adding a little bit of black over top of this blue um, because it's a little light. I want the scales to be lighter, so I will lighten up the, that blue. Now what I've done for this blue is I've mixed pewter gray, black, and cerulean blue. Now I have like a really dark grayish blue, and that's the look that I'm going for, for this Toothless the Dragon. So I'm sponging that dark, dark, dark grayish blue all over, leaving it black around the eyes, and and we're going to be able to see, um, it, it kind of looks black still, but once I resin it, you will be able to see this background in the blue, and then you'll be able to see every little step that I show you. I'm going to be using a little bit of uh, gold, a little bit of light uh uh, white added to this bluish gray that we're using right now, um, especially for the scales. But we want some gold for the gleam. There's some certain areas that we need a little bit of gleam. So I'll show that to you as we go along. No worries there. So with his mouth, I did draw it on with pencil right there. And that weird shaped line coming out from the point of the eye is his nostril. He's got very strange little dragon nostrils and it might help you if you take some look at some pictures of him so that you get the idea of what he looks like. It might help you create this a little bit better. This line underneath here that I'm working on, that's his that's his mouth. So you can see a line very close underneath that white eye um, that I've got there in pencil. And what I'm doing is I'm lightening underneath it just a little bit and then I'm gonna make that line really black. So I'm gonna go in with my lining brush and with a sponge to make it look like that lip is shaded a little bit. And I hope to God you guys can understand what I'm talking about and uh, and just watch what I'm doing and I'm, I hope that this isn't a waste and that you guys can actually do this with me. Um, sometimes I just can't find the words to explain how I'm doing this. <laughs> so I'm going to blacken underneath the nostril line so it looks kind of shaded, but we'll be adding a little bit of gleam to that area. But that's his cute little nostril. And then his mouth, like I said, is going to be um, outlined with a nice thick black line so that it looks like there's a separation, but we do want it light. Um, there has to be like some highlighting there. So I've added a little bit of white to my blue, gray, and black mixture that we made earlier for his, basically his skin tone. And I lightened it a little bit so that I could sponge it on underneath his upper lip here and I'm blending it in as well as I can. I'm gonna go back and forth with a little bit of the dark blue and, and add a little bit of the light uh, until it looks like there's some shading and some highlighting there. So we want it to look like the mouth is separated, that there is a separation there. And it's not easy. I did have to figure out how to do this as I went along. So it's not easy, but if you lighten the bottom part a little bit at the edge of the lip, like I've done, and then you darken above the lip with the black, it does tend to look a little bit separated there. And I am not, um, I'm not trained in school for any kind of art program. So this is all just on my own figuring out different techniques. And honestly, a lot of it is, is blending with sponges. <laughs> so, uh, it's definitely something I recommend for this project is if you have some sponges or some brushes that you can blend really well with, um, see it, it looks kind of choppy right now, but I am going to be cutting that line like right now with black paint 
So it's, it's, it's really dark right above that highlighted bottom lip. And like I said, you might understand why his mouth is where it is if you uh, take a look at pictures of Toothless. It will start coming together. It, it looks like a hot mess right now, but I promise it will come together. If you kind of recognize this little guy when you saw the thumbnail, that makes me happy. So that's all I was going for is maybe he looks a little bit like Toothless. <laughs> So we'll see how it goes. This is my second time painting Toothless. I did paint one a while ago for a, a, an art show that I went to, and uh, it was a big hit. I do have Toothless started on a canvas, but that was a couple years ago, and I have not finished it yet because I haven't had time. So I thought, well, you guys are bored at home right now. Maybe there's some um, dragon lovers out there who are wanting a new one and uh, who also might be fans of Toothless the Dragon. So, and little kids too that are home that might recognize this little guy. I tell you, if they tell you that yours looks like Toothless, believe them, because they know, these kids know. <laughs> so here I have got a nice dry base coat of that darkish gray blue color that we created. Now I've added a little bit of white into it and I'm creating some some cute little scales on his face. Um, I, like I said, am self-taught, so this might not be exactly how Toothless the Dragon looks, but this is as close as I'm going to get. So I hope that, hope you guys love it. <laughs> so just be random. Don't have any little scales touching each other. Just make little random shapes and uh, form them up going up towards above his eye and a couple are right above underneath his nose actually and underneath his eye above his upper lip just try and kind of keep them um, sectioned together so they look like they belong together like little puzzle pieces and this is just kind of to give the effect that you see on him once in a while when he's like turning his face really slow or there's a certain shade on him or a gleam from moonlight and you can see these these beautiful scales on his face. So I wanted to add them in there, make sure that he's not, he's not your regular dragon. So this one is a little different from my other dragon eyes that you've seen me do before, but hopefully, hopefully he turns out cute. So I am using, now that I have two coats of white and it's dry on my eye area, um, I'm using lime green and I'm using a sponge to make sure that I have a nice even layer. So what I did is I outlined, sorry, all you can see is my big fingers. Um, I outlined it first with the light green and then I sponged on the inside um, to get it a nice, uh, bright, even airbrushed look. And I did two coats of that, and then I added some yellow in the center, so it's a little bit lighter in the center, as you can see. Um, and now I'm going in with some, it's called bright green, not light green, and I'm going around the outside and just using a sponge to kind of blend it in with that light green. So it's, it's confusing. One's light green, one's bright green. The light green is actually like a lime, bright neon lime color. So I've darkened just around the outside a little bit. And like I said, the sponges work like a little airbrush. So it blends in really nice. And if you need to go over it again and add more yellow or add more light green, it's totally up to you. I just kind of want to darken the outside ring of the eye. And now I'm going to cut it with black paint and my fine lining brush just to, to make sure if I sponged out any of the outsides that I clean it up now with my black paint. Oh, there's Maple. Maple. Oh, Maple doesn't want to be in here with me. One moment. <laughs> okay. I let her out. <laughs> All right. So I've just outlined everything. Uh, you can't really see this uh, outer area of the eye, but I'm going to be highlighting that with a little bit of a uh, little bit of sheen. I'm going to highlight with some gold today. I know you probably don't see gold on Toothless the Dragon, but on Rachel's Rocks you do. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. I say sorry because I'm Canadian, but I'm not really sorry. 
at all. I needed the gold. So his eyeball is so cute. It's not pointy and harsh looking. It's so friendly and soft and cute looking. And it's like a little soft cushiony pillow. That's what his pupil looks like. It looks like a soft little pillow. <laughs> no pointy aggressiveness in this eye whatsoever. So I have got two layers of my little soft pillow pupil. <laughs> uh, I'm here all week, guys. I love you. Now I am blending in some of that green a little bit better along the edge because I it wasn't dark enough for me. I want to see that edge really green. So I'm just using a sponge and a blending brush to blend in a little bit more green to the side there while my pupil is drying. You can still see it's a little bit wet. So he's starting to resemble toothless a little bit, eh? I think so. So I'm going to give a little shine to the bottom of his eyeball using a bit of gold. Just run it right along the bottom there. And then stop at the edge of the eyeball. This is all optional. You do what you want with it. If you start thinking, hey, this does not even resemble Toothless in any way, shape, or form, Rachel, what the heck are you doing? Just think of it as a cute dragon. <laughs> or some kind of reptile. It's up to you. So I have mixed in some gold with my light colored blue. So the, the part that you see on the scales, I've mixed some gold in with that in order to get this nice shimmery highlighted blue. So now I'm scrubbing that on with a blending brush and a sponge along the areas that are lighter on his lip. If you know what I mean. I'm also going to highlight with that a little bit uh, a little bit above his eye so it looks like it's kind of sticking out a, a, a little bit. There's a raised kind of bone above his eyeball. That's what I'm trying to go for. It's just all about contouring, right? I cannot contour my makeup, but I can contour on a stone. <laughs> I'm a rock contouring queen. <laughs> New t-shirt idea. <laughs> so I've highlighted, just see, you see there's barely a sheen there. I'm not really adding too much on there either. So be careful with how much you're using. And I'm literally going on the lip part where it was highlighted already with lighter blue and around the eyeball, so it kind of looks like the eye is sunken in a little bit now. It gives the illusion. I'm putting a little bit of it on the nostril line so that there's a little bit shine there. And I put a little bit with a sponge or a blending brush on, a, on some of the areas of the scales, the lighter scales too. It just gives them a nice little sheen in some areas, but don't overdo it because then it looks like a mess. I'm outlining the eye as well with this light blue mixed with gold. Anytime you need some highlight, add gold to whatever color you're using and it usually works out. So I'm hoping that with each tutorial I bring you guys that there's some tips and tricks that you can walk away with. And uh, yeah, that's, that's one of them. Add some gold for highlight anywhere. If you're using purple, add gold to purple and it's good highlight. So here I'm using a little bit of that gold as well uh, mixed with the light blue just to kind of highlight the shine in his eye socket right here beside the green. Um, I'm not going all the way up. I'm just kind of highlighting a little bit in there and uh, not very much on the sponge either. It's, it's very, very small amount. I'm using a little blending brush all the paint colors, all the brushes, all the sponges, everything I'm using is listed in the description of my videos. And I'm not smart enough or uh, haven't finished YouTube University yet and don't really know how to add the links to everything and the links to what you guys need right in the videos. So you have to check the description below the video. So if anyone knows how to explain that easily, please let me know because <laughs> uh, I'm still having a hard time telling people where the description is located. 
it depends on what device you're using as well. But all the secrets and tips and tricks are located in the description. So I have given a nice black line to his mouth again, just to make sure it's nice and bold. A nice black line underneath his nostril. Make sure that there's a black line around his eye. Make sure of that. I'm also outlining just some of the bits and pieces of his, his scales, not the whole, not the whole scale, um, just like one side of it, as if the light is shining on it a certain way and it's it's raised up a little bit. Um, so I'm just outlining the one little side of some of the the scales, and you'll see that a little bit better once it's resined as well, because. Everything is a little bit more noticeable once you seal once you seal it. Um, you can see all the work that we've done finally at the end. So you can even add like a metallic green little veins going through his eye, um, like I did on my other dragon eye tutorial. But I'm just leaving him soft and smooth and friendly looking. Makes you want to pet him. <laughs> I want to give him a kiss. I love toothless love him so much. So I hope you guys are loving this. I hope you guys are staying sane at home, not drinking too much, um, not pulling your hair out. And I hope that I'm contributing to you staying creative and if not entertained for short periods of time. Um, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. I love you all. Thank you for being my rock through all of this, uh, pun intended. You guys keep me going as well. All of your lovely supportive comments and your emails and your pictures. I just really appreciate all of you. And uh, I know I say it in every video, but I love you. And you guys are just an awesome, creative, beautiful bunch of people. Can you see the scratches on my hands? I was playing with Max and he loves me and that's how he shows his love. <laughs> he splits my skin open. <laughs> he does love me though. I know he does. <laughs> so I am uh, just making sure that everything is all clean and tidy. And I'm grabbing some white paint because we got to bring some uh, life to this guy now. Now, not only are we going to give him soft little pillow pupils, but we're going to give him soft little pupil glare off of his eyes as well. <laughs> So it's just a little square, a little soft square on the shine there. And now I'm adding a bunch of water to my white paint and I'm making it very, very transparent. And I'm putting another little bloop over here on the green so it looks like it's part of the shine, but it's, it's reflecting differently on that green than it is on the white. You can put your shine wherever you want it. That's where I put mine. I'm going to be adding some water to my black paint as well. Um, it's just a little trick that I do when I'm putting some shade underneath the eyelid for my eyes. I add a little bit of black paint and water together and water it right down. And then I can use it as shadow. So we want to make sure that that eye does look like it's sunken in just a little bit and that there is some shading where the bone, the brow bone or eye bone, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not a dinosaurologist or a dragonologist. <laughs> um, but yeah, I know there's some shading going on here. So that's what I'm doing right along the top. Just watered down black paint just to give it the look of some shading there. And you don't ruin anything when you water it down like that. So now with the back, I am just covering it all in black paint. So you can see, um, usually I don't even show you guys what I do at the back, but I'm just continuing down the back with a sponge and black paint. And then once, uh, once it's dry, I'll put my signature on the back of it. I never sign the front of my dragon eyes at all. Um, cause I don't want to take away from the look of the face or anything, uh, or the eye. So yeah, I'm just going to put my signature on the back of it once it's all dry. And then, and then we resin my favorite part. I just found out that my cousin from England, 
Stephanie. I love you. I miss your face. She's painting with me as well all the way in the UK with her little ones. And that made my heart really happy this morning when I found that out. So, hi Steph. I love you, girl. Thank you for painting with me. Hi, Beckett. Hi, kids. Okay, guys, here it is. The resin version. Are you prepared? You can see everything now. It really stands out. All the work we did really stands out now that it's resin. You can see his mouth, his nostrils. Everything is there. Let me know what you guys think, guys. I love you. Love you so much. Keep painting.